As we all know, SAS started back in around 2002 because it was a PhD project. So it's quite a long process from the idea to getting it out there into to families. 10 years ago when it was launched, uh, it was a revolutionary program with the computer game component. And then there's been things that have evolved over time, changes, technological upgrades or content improvements. The drive behind the change for uh, moving Secret Agent Society small group program into this new digital edition really was wanting to take SAS to the next level. It's really important that SAS has looked at how they can change their resources to suit the world that we currently live in. Originally, we were brought together to brainstorm and hear about this change that was happening. And we were asked to provide just our open-ended ideas and thoughts about if we could have anything we wanted, what would it be? The way in which we built our DigiSAS program means that facilitators still have the flexibility that they used to have of running sessions in real life but now also have different options when it comes to rolling out the program digitally. The digital delivery will definitely enhance the efficiency of the program in that you're going to have everything in one place. It's a one-stop shop for a facilitator to get all their information they need about their groups that they're running. They can schedule sessions and meetings, see reporting on what cadets are doing and how groups are doing. The small group program is still real people interacting with real people and practicing their skills and playing lots of games. It's just that the physical paper pen activities and the stickers and things are now becoming uh, clickable, draggable, um, fun interactive. Uh, software. It's planning for the future and also working out how these new technologies work and how live streaming and live chat and things like that can work effectively in an e-learning medium. We have lots of young people with literacy difficulties that are naturally drawn um, towards digital devices. So I think having digital tech within that environment will, one, be very appealing, but also to increase, you know, the rate and speed at which we can share information. Kids aren't always going to follow exactly what we want to do when we want to do. And so I think that um, the online resources are really flexible like that. There's a lot of availability for us to change what we're doing as we go in each session, um, depending on what the kids need, which is really useful. So being able to deliver SAS online last term was a breakthrough for us. We won't have to be shipping out kits. We don't have to worry about things getting lost. It's added this extra level of intuitiveness and practicality for the facilitator. My preconceived notion would have been that it just wouldn't have worked at all, that it was going to be really challenging, that kids were going to feel really disconnected from each other, that it would be a excruciated to try and maintain their attention and focus through a telehealth format but our experience was really very different than that and I think that it'll just really provide opportunities for families that may not have been able to access our groups. I think that every change can cause apprehension and that's often what we teach the kids that we're working with. I think that the core of the program is staying the same which is really good. It's only things that will help us advance what we're already doing. The children will still get up and move away from their devices. They'll still go and uh, role play together in the corner of the room and then come back and maybe they'll be typing in their reflections or selecting a box to indicate an answer. They're only going to their screen when they would have gone to a book or to their screen to play Digital HQ anyway. The true gem of this program is the way in which these skills and ideas are layered one on top of the other. You start with real basics and every week you're building upon something that the kids have not only been able to practice in group but learn about on their own. I think the kids are really going to like the new way of running SAS. I think that the reality is that we need to catch up with where they're up to and although I was feeling really apprehensive at the start, I can honestly say that the longer I've gone into this journey of seeing what these resources are actually going to be, the more confident and excited I'm actually feeling. 